Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. God bless you. You are welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Welcome, welcome, welcome in the name of Jesus. Can we begin to appreciate the name of the Lord? Hallelujah. We bless God for another privilege. Let's begin to bless the Lord. Let's begin to worship Him. Let's begin to magnify His name. Father God, we thank you. We appreciate you. We give you praise. We give you glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Immortal, invincible, the only wise God. We appreciate you. We exalt you tonight. We lift our hands up and we say thank you. Thank you. There is no one like you. Please open your mouth and appreciate this great God. Anyway, you are listening to me from all over the world. I appreciate this great God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise. We thank you. We magnify you. We glorify your name. There is none like you. Ancient of days, we worship you. We say thank you for the gift of life, for good health. Thank you for provision, for protection. We say thank you. Blessed be thy name, O God. Receive all the praise in the name of Jesus. Please open your mouth and appreciate this great God. The one that has kept you and I. Father, we thank you. Father, we magnify you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. There is none like you. Open your mouth and appreciate this great God. Praise is not just God's delight. It is God's demand. Father, we thank you. We appreciate you. Receive all the praise. Receive all the glory. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Please, I want you to appreciate God one more time. He deserves our thanks. He deserves all the adoration. Begin to give him praise. Say something sweet unto him. Appreciate him in your own language. Father, we say thank you once again. As a church, we say thank you for the privilege to gather again at your feet. We return all the glory back to you. For good health, we say thank you. For what you have been doing from the beginning of this year, we say thank you. For what you continue to do, we say thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. The theme of our program tonight is a way out of no way. A way out of no way. And I pray for you that God will make way for you in the name of Jesus. Anywhere it seems to be no way in your life, over everything that seems fixed in your life, God will make a way in the mighty name of Jesus. I prophesy into your life, if your amen can be loud, where your life seems fixed and seems tough, God will make a way for you in the name of Jesus. Anything that seems stagnant in your life and you feel as if you are not going anywhere, you have been fixed and stagnant, God will make a way for you in the mighty name of Jesus. In the book of Exodus 5, Exodus chapter 5 from verse 1 to 2, the Bible says, Afterwards, Moses and Aaron went in unto Pharaoh and said unto him, Thus says the Lord God of Israel, let my people go, that they may hold a feast unto me in the wilderness. And Pharaoh said, Who is the Lord that I should obey his voice to so let Israel go? I do not know the Lord, nor will I let Israel go. I prophesy into your life, if your amen can be loud, any part that says you will not go forward, or that you will go, you will not go far. Let that part be wasted by fire. Let it be wasted by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, everybody under the sound of my voice that is under any satanic bonding, receive your liberation. Receive your liberation. In the mighty name of Jesus, receive your liberation. Receive your liberation. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare anybody acting as Lord over your life, if your amen can be loud, I decree and declare, let them be displayed by fire. In the name of Jesus, anybody praying God over your life, any power only you will see, let them be wasted by fire. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. Anything that has kept you on the same spot, either though, tonight from that thing, receive your freedom. Receive your freedom. In the name of Jesus, can you please open your mouth and pray this prayer loud and clear? Say, powers, acting as God over my life, be dethroned and be disgraced. In the name of Jesus, powers, acting as God over my life, be dethroned, be disgraced, be dethroned, be disgraced. In the name of Jesus, powers, acting as God over my life, any power playing Lord over my marriage, over my career, over my business, be dethroned. In the name of Jesus, be dethroned, be dethroned, be dethroned and be disgraced, be dethroned and be disgraced. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I pray for you once again. Any power acting as God over your life, let them be dethroned and be disgraced. Let them be dethroned and be disgraced. In the name of Jesus, from tonight, everything that has kept you on the same spot, either though, you are free from them. You are free from them. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. 
Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Um, I welcome you once again tonight in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm trusting God to bless you powerfully. Please do well to listen tonight to this short exhortation and we swim straight away into prayer. Hallelujah. The theme of our meeting tonight is a way out of no way. A way out of no way. And I pray for you tonight. If your amen can be loud, God will make a way for you. Over that situation, God will make a way for you. In the name of Jesus. When we encounter obstacles, faith can feel foolish. Hallelujah. As if we are fixed, as if God has duped us, as if God is a liar. Many times we go through challenge and it seems as if we are trapped and there is no way out. Praise the Lord. This episode of scripture that we are reading tonight um, in a very short while in the book of Exodus chapter 14. Hallelujah. It's a very long read, by the way. Exodus 14 from 1 to 26. Um, you know, that, 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 that episode opens us with the fact that God can still rescue people. Hallelujah. That God can still make a way where there seems to be no way. Eventually, we find ourselves, even if we can wait on the Lord and trust Him, we find ourselves on the other side of our problem. And we realize that even when things seem so tall, even when things, seem, things were very, very hard, God never left us. He cared for us and He was left with us. Praise the Lord. So this is what we are going to examine tonight. But I pray for somebody tonight that every problem that's overwhelming either at home, you are receiving vibration tonight. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you this year. Battles will not overcome you. In the mighty name of Jesus, everything presenting as impossibility over your destiny, let the Lord turn it around. Let the Lord turn it around. In the name of Jesus, listen to the Lord. When you feel overwhelmed, when you feel so overwhelmed, take a pause. Hallelujah. And remember that God cares for you. And then step forward in faith. Praise God. Faith is not um, a scam, like they call it. Hallelujah. God has a plan for you. Your faith is what propels you into a great future. The Hebrew people were finally escaping from the hand of this old and wicked Pharaoh. We know the story very well. They've been in that place for 400 years and they went through a lot of situations. We know the story. And just about this time, you know, Bible said God heard that cry. He sent Moses to this man called Pharaoh, you know, the king of Egypt at the time. And he says, let my people go that they can save me. Hallelujah. And they were finally going. You know, it took a long time for Moses to release. I mean, Pharaoh to allow them to go. There were a lot of dialogue. You know, remember all the um, signs and, you know, the wonders that uh, Moses performed in the palace and in the land of Egypt. And finally, now they were finally free from the nightmare of slavery. Of 400 years, they said freedom at last. Hallelujah. They thank the Lord Almighty. But then suddenly Pharaoh realized all the comfort he was going to lose. Don't forget, they were making bread for these people with straw. They were serving them and all of that he realized the money was going to lose and he said no why should i let them go so he said i was going to chase them praise the lord the pharaoh you know began to chase them bible said god added his heart and he began to chase them his agenda was to chase them and bring them back to slavery i pray for somebody tonight any part that wants to bring you back to your yesterday let them be wasted by fire let them be wasted by fire i pray for you from the battle that god has rescued you you will not go back there you will not go back there in the name of Jesus. Every hour assigned to make life difficult for you. Let them be wasted tonight. Let them be wasted tonight. In the name of Jesus. Listen, Lord. I'd like you to know something. Freedom is never granted until it's demanded. I'll say that again. Freedom is never granted until it's demanded. From time immemorial, the oppressor has never wanted the oppressed to be free. And so it is very, very normal that the oppressor wants to keep the oppressed hostage for as long as they can keep them hostage. I pray for you tonight. Any part that wants to keep you hostage, they shall be wasted by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Can you please pray this prayer loud and clear? I beg you, pray with the strength, everything you have inside of you. Say, powers, assigned to sabotage my liberty, die. In the name of Jesus, every power assigned to sabotage my liberty, die, 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 die. die. In the name of Jesus, command them to die. Every power assigned to sabotage and liberty. Die, 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 die. In the mighty name of Jesus, any power assigned to sabotage and liberty. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Listen, that you are walking around, um, you know, does not necessarily mean you are in liberty. Hallelujah. Liberty is dimensional. Praise the Lord. I want you to put that there with understanding. You are going to Christ. to say, powers 
assigned to sabotage my liberty. Die in the name of Jesus. Power assigned to sabotage me. Die, 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 die. In the name of Jesus. Any power that wants to sabotage my liberty. Die, 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 die. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say powers that wants to keep me on the same spot. Be wasted by fire in the name of Jesus. Any power that wants to keep me on the same spot, be wasted, be wasted, be wasted. Command them to be wasted in the name of Jesus. By the fire of the living God, be wasted, be wasted in the name of Jesus. Powers that wants to keep me on the same spot, be wasted by fire, be wasted by fire in Jesus' mighty name. We pray. Examine your life. Are you where you are meant to be? Hallelujah. Is that where God has ordained for you to be? I know that our life is going to be progressive at time. We examine your life. Check everything. Praise the Lord. Are you where God has ordained for you to be? Please pray that prayer again with understanding. Say, powers assigned to keep me on the same spot. Be wasted by fire. In the name of Jesus. Any power that wants to keep me on the same spot. Be wasted. Be wasted. In the name of Jesus. Powers that wants to keep my marriage on the same spot. That wants to keep my career on the same spot. Be wasted. Be wasted. Powers that wants to keep my ministry on the same spot. Be wasted. Measure your own area. Be wasted. Be wasted. Be wasted. Any power that wants to keep my finances on the same spot. Be wasted. Be wasted. Be wasted. Be wasted. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say, Oh God, arise. Break the backbone of my enemy. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise. Break the backbone of my enemy. In the name of Jesus, every enemy of my ministry, of my career, of my marriage, oh God, arise. Break their backbone. Break their backbone. Break their backbone. Break their backbone. In the name of Jesus, arise, oh God. Break their backbone. Break their backbone. Break their backbone. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I pray for you. Any part that wants to keep you on the same spot, let them be destroyed by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Anything that used to stop you in that door, do not let that thing be destroyed and be scattered in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Hallelujah. And so these people were finally leaving. They left Egypt and they were on their way. Hallelujah. And Bible says something very, very uh, profound in the book of. Uh, um, Exodus chapter 14. I'm going to read very, very quickly. Hallelujah. Just for, you know, a bit of understanding. Please tell me the book of Exodus 14. Amen. I'm going to try and, you know, jump some verses because of our time. I will start from verse 5. And it was told the king of Egypt that the people had fled, and the act of Pharaoh and of his servant was turned against the people. And they said, why have we done this? That we have let Israel go from serving us. And he made ready his chariot and took his people with him. Seven. And he took 600 chosen chariots and his chariot and the chariot of Egypt and captain over every one of them. And the Lord added Pharaoh's heart, king of Egypt. And he pursued after the children of Israel. And the children of Israel went out with a high hand. I decree and declare this year from every oppressor of your destiny. God will release you. God, with a high hand, God will release you in the name of Jesus. But the Egyptians pursued after them all the horses and the chariots of Pharaoh and his horsemen and his army and overtook them, encamping by the sea beside Paharoth before Bazephron. And when Pharaoh drew near, and when Pharaoh drew near, turned of Israel their eyes, and behold, the Egyptians marched after them, and they were so afraid. They were so afraid, and they cried unto the Lord, and they said unto Moses, Because there were no graves in Egypt, thou hast brought us here from and die in the wilderness. Wherefore hast thou dealt with us to carry us forth out of Egypt? 12. Is not this what we said to you in Egypt, saying, Let us alone, that we may serve the Egyptians, for it had been better for us to serve the Egyptians than that we should die in the wilderness. 15. And Moses said unto the people, Fear not! Stand still! Hallelujah! This is the word of God for somebody tonight. I will continue in, the, in, in a very short while. Fear not. Fear not and stand still. Hallelujah. Fear not. It is very easy for people to forget. When there is challenges or when there are challenges, it is very easy to forget the exploit of yesterday. These people here, they have forgotten what God did, all the miracles, how God brought them out with a mighty hand. They have forgotten the fact that they even spoiled the vision before they left. 
praise the Lord, and they began to complain. You know, they saw Pharaoh and his host coming, and they were terrified. They began to complain against Moses. Oh, did we not tell you? You know, uh, we should have died in Egypt. You know, should have left us to die there. You wanted to leave us alone. Many people today, they remain on the same spot. Many today have not stepped into their destiny. Many have not gone into a new dimension because of the fear, the fear of unknown. What if? What if? Oh, what if the does not prosper? Oh, what if it does not work? What if, oh, if I fail? What if, what if, what if I make mistake? What if I lose money? What if I fail? Brother, sister, can you please keep quiet for a minute? Hallelujah. And see positivity. Can you please hold on for a minute and at least try? Many people today, the fear of unknown has kept them on the same spot. I pray for somebody tonight. Every fear in your life shall be terminated. It shall be terminated in the mighty name of Jesus. There are many people, doors open before them, wide open, for fear has not allowed them to step into it. Yeah, people that God came to come and rescue, and they were on their way. Of course, every good thing will be contended. Nothing good will go smoothly without being contended. In fact, the intensity of attack on your life is an indication that you carry glory. Because if you don't carry glory, the enemy will not attack you. And so many people today, they remain on the same spot because the fear of, oh, what if it doesn't work? What if they laugh at me? What if it doesn't, you know, prosper? What if I fail? Still give it a try. Give it a try. And so many today are in that situation. Many people are victims of fear. But I pray for somebody tonight. God will terminate your fear. I say God will terminate your fear. In the name of Jesus, in Hebrews 2.15, Bible says, and deliver them who through fear of death were all their lives subject to fear. That somebody can come to this life and all through their lifetime, fear kept them on the same spot. I pray for you today. Every episode of fear and coming to your life, let it come to an end. Let it come to an end. Let it come to an end. In the name of Jesus, can you please pray this prayer? Say, episode of fear and torment in my life be terminated in the name of Jesus. Every episode of fear and torment in my life be terminated, be terminated, be terminated in the name of Jesus. Episode of fear and torment in my life come to an end, come to an end. In the name of Jesus, be terminated today, be terminated, be terminated, be terminated. Episode of fear and torment in my life come to an end, come to an end, come to an end, come to an end. Please pray very well. In the name of Jesus, every episode of fear and torment in my life be terminated, be terminated. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Listen, there are people who should have gone really far in destiny, but fear has made them to be on the same spot. And so you must sustain grace to rise above your fear. Hallelujah. You must sustain grace to come out of that fear. They are going to pray to God again. There are people when they want to do anything major, anything good that will enhance their destiny, then fear comes and they let it sleep. And it, I mean, you know, it's become a cycle. By the time they realize age has gone on them and they are just still on sleep. They are going to pray to God. Every episode of fear and torment, that means fear has torment. Say every episode of fear and torment in my life be terminated in the name of Jesus. Every episode of fear and torment in my life be terminated, be terminated in the name of Jesus. Episode of fear and torment in my life come to an end today in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say, oh God, arise, torment my tormentors in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise, torment my tormentors. Torment them in the name of Jesus. Every torment of my destiny. Oh God, arise, torment them, torment them, torment them, torment them, torment them. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise, torment my tormentors. Torment my tormentors. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. I understand that life can be very complex. And sometimes this complexity of life sometimes demands that um, we are faced with similar situations. Um, like this, praise God. There are times that we find ourselves in things that we didn't even bargain for. There are times that life can just be very, very funny. And we just find ourselves in terms of challenges that we didn't bargain for. But listen, this is why we need spiritual intelligence. Hallelujah. High level of spiritual intelligence. High level of spiritual intelligence. Praise the Lord. What do you do when you think you've gotten over your yesterday and suddenly it resurfaces? What do you do 
when you think you've scaled through that situation and you see it laughing and staring at your face again. This was the case that happened here. Hallelujah. They thought they had gotten over there yesterday and suddenly it comes up again. What do you do when you close the door of your yesterday and tomorrow refuses to open for you? What do you do? <laughs> Hallelujah. When you think you have the guarantee of tomorrow and it's not coming forth. Hear me? Continuity in this kingdom is not automatic. Hallelujah. Apostle says, I will obtain help of the Lord. I continue until this day. That you continue in any endeavor, either in career, whether in business, whether in ministry, you need to outsource help from the higher dimension. Paul said, I will obtain help of the Lord. I continue until this day. In other words, if you have not sought help, there will be no room for continuity. And so what do you do when you close a door and the one in front of you refuses to open? What do you do when you think you've gotten over a situation and it arises again? Hallelujah. You thought the sickness was gone. You thought you had gotten your healing completely. In fact, you have testified and you begin to feel funny again. Hallelujah. You said God can do all things and you are trusting God for papers. And there's never bro. Since you said God can do all things, yes, truly He can do it. Oh, God is a provider, the over gyra. Hallelujah. Since I was born and now I'm getting old, I'm asking for this, but they are still begging for bread. And your views are there waiting. What do you do when you think yesterday is gone and all of a sudden it comes up to face you again? What do you do when you say God can do all things? And belief is knocking at your door. Praise the living Jesus. The people thought they, are, they, they were already free. They thought they had left Egypt for good. And all of a sudden, they saw the adversary running after them again in full force. I pray for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Any battle has to take you back into your yesterday. Let that battle scatter by fire. Let it scatter by fire. Any battle that wants to take you back into your yesterday, let it scatter by fire. In the name of Jesus, I show you a mystery that works. Praise the Lord. I will show you a mystery that works. When you come out of your yesterday and the door of tomorrow presents short or this is open for you, don't fret. Hallelujah. Don't complain. Don't go about ranting. Turn against that door. Hallelujah. And give God acknowledgement. The God that opened out of yesterday. Acknowledge it. But when he has done, praise the Lord. When you don't for you, does not open. Turn against that door. Praise the Lord. And acknowledge the great God that opened the door of yesterday. Appreciate him and give him mighty acknowledgement. And let me tell you something. You don't acknowledge men without referring or making reference to their exploits. Hallelujah. You don't acknowledge men without making mention of their exploits in the past. If you go to maybe a book launching or any occasion and suddenly yeah, ladies and gentlemen the next person I want to call now is absolutely phenomenal in his career for over 30 years he's been an authority in that field he's published 30 books he's done that he won the Nobel Prize Award in this and this and that recently in the United Kingdom and became first all over the world he's gone far and wide ladies and gentlemen put your hands together as I welcome that is acknowledgement hallelujah that is acknowledgement the same way Give God acknowledgement. The one that opened the door of yesterday. Acknowledge him sincerely. Give him thanks. Pretend as if you can't see God that is in front of you. Face that God of yesterday and give him mighty acknowledgement. And see the way he will fling that door open before you. This is a mystery that works. When your door or the light of you sings short, the same way give God praise. Acknowledge him. Recount in his ears all the great wonders he has done. All the past miracles. All the things he's done in your life. Explain to him, like he, like I said, he doesn't know by himself. Appreciate him and watch that door open before you like no man. I pray for you. Every door that has been shut against your destiny, I command them open now. I command them open now. In the mighty name of Jesus, every good door shut against your destiny. Every good door shut against your marriage. I don't know what they will shut before you, but I decree and declare, if your amen can be loud, let those doors open now. Let them open now. Let them open now. In the name of Jesus. 
I love Moses' response. He says, Fear not, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord your God, which he will show you today. For the you see today, you shall see them no more forever. The Lord shall fight for you and you shall hold your peace. Hallelujah. The Lord shall fight for you and you shall hold your peace. That every time you are faced with challenges, the first thing to do is not to shout. Hallelujah. That every time you are faced with situation, the first thing to do is not to cry. It's not to roll on the floor. In fact, it's not to complain. When you are going through challenges, you don't want to start passing blame. There are people who are experts in passing blame. They complain for everything. They forgotten that this man Moses was well meaning. Praise the Lord. They began to complain. Did we not tell you? Did we not want you? Should have left us to die in Egypt? Hallelujah. There are those that are, I don't know what, what the English name is now. People that like to be in the hospital, you know, when they tell them, oh, you are free to go now. They are oh, still have pain here. So I still have, they complain about, I forgotten the English name now. Hallelujah. They complain about everything. When you are faced with challenges, the first thing to do is not to complain. It's not to blame, but to be still. To be still. Moses says, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord God. Anyone that God is fighting for does not need to fight again. Be still. Be still for a minute. Because when you are uncertain, even when God is speaking, you will not hear. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. When you are uncertain, when God is speaking, you will not hear. When He's giving instruction, you will not catch it or mess it up. Until you are still below, your salvation is not in view. Over that matter you are going through, until you are still to get instruction, until you are still, your salvation is not in view. When you try to do things by yourself or depend on the arm of flesh, you can't get the best of God. When you try to help yourself, you know there's this saying in this community or in this environment, help yourself, help it. it's a big life on the feet of the earth. Really, you can't help yourself. Honestly, you can't help yourself. Hallelujah. And so when you are still, you see God appear in your mind. The Lord fights for you and you hold your peace. I prophesy, every past sabotaging your peace, they shall perish this year. They shall perish this year. In the name of Jesus, I say every past sabotaging your peace or rest, they shall perish this year. In the name of Jesus. Immediately they got this principle. The next thing, was their divine instruction and deliverance. Immediately they understood. He said, be still. Stop complaining. Be focused. Hold on for a minute. Be still. As if God was foolish. The man that brought you all the way out, he wasn't going to rescue you. He wouldn't let you come out in the first place. Somebody needs to be still and watch God fight on your behalf. Somebody needs to calm down. You'll be running out of skelter, looking for help everywhere. It's time you calm down. And let God ask for you. He said, be still. So once they got this instruction or this principle, the next thing that came was the divine instruction. Verse 15. And the Lord said to Moses, Wherefore Christ thou unto me, speak of the children of Israel, that they go forward. Praise the Lord. Speak of them that they go forward. Now, I know this is a very tricky one. Praise the Lord. The question go forward is, you know, go where? It makes no sense. I don't know how, how far they were from the rest, but. You know, let's assume we are very, very close. And God says, go forward. Go forward to where? Into the sea? <laughs> it, does not make, it does not make any sense. But you see, hear me. Your next open door is at the obedience, is at the, is at the mercy of your current level of obedience. Hallelujah. Your open door might be at the mercy of your obedience. Many are too logical for God. Many are too calculating. And you see, logic and reasoning. Is an enemy of faith. So when you are too logical, you can't see the hand of God. So it tells them to go forward. Hallelujah. The logical person is go where? Into the sea. Praise the living Jesus. And immediately they began to go forward. Bible says in verse 16. But lift up that. Now you can see the word but there, if my English is correct, it's like a conjunction, isn't it? Go forward. If they are trying to question God or see God as an idiot, that would have been their peril. So tell them to go forward. Then, and that thing follow. But lift up that thy rod and stretch it out thy hand over the sea and divide it. 
So the instruction, hallelujah, the, the key word or the delivering instruction was going to come, but God wanted to see their level of belief. Somebody needs to get this, that when God is talking sometimes, it may sound foolish, sustain grace to obey and act as instructed. That man in the book of Jeremiah, you have to know very well, the value of dry bone. That prophet, God asked him, can this bone still live? The guy was clever. I said, God, only you know. A foolish one said, ah, ah, how can they live? They are dry already. But said, only you know. And he said, prophesy. And he said, and I prophesy as commanded. Praise the Lord. Somebody needs to begin to act as commanded. But lift thou thy rod and stretch it out, and stretch out thy hand over the sea, and divide it, and shall it shall go on dry ground through the midst of the sea. Hallelujah. I pray for somebody tonight. Every obstacle you are advancing, let them scatter. Let them scatter. Let them scatter. In the mighty name of Jesus, everything standing at obstacle before you're going forward, let them scatter by fire. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. See like battle before you. Every battle I see, let them dry up tonight. Let them dry up tonight. Let them dry up tonight. In the name of Jesus, every battle presenting our seed before you, every battle presenting our well for you, let them dry up tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, can you please pray this prayer? Please, I beg you, praise the way. Say anything of that who, before my advancement, break and scatter. In the name of Jesus, every obstacle for my advancement, break and scatter, break and scatter, break and scatter, break and scatter. In the name of Jesus, every obstacle before my going forward, break, 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 break and scatter, break and scatter, break and scatter, break and scatter. In the name of Jesus, every obstacle before my advancement, break, 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 break and scatter, break and scatter, break and scatter. In the name of Jesus, obstacles before my going forward, break tonight. Break, break, break. I command you to break. Break and scatter. Break and scatter. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Somebody needs to pray this next one loud and clear. Take sin like battle before my life. Dry up now. In the name of Jesus. Battles like sin before my life. Dry up. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Battles like sin before my life. Dry up. Dry up. Dry up. Dry up. Dry up, command them to dry up in the name of Jesus. Every battle I see before my life, dry, dry up, 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 dry up in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Please pray that prayer again very, very well with understanding. If God can pack the Red Sea, that battle before you can pass, it can dry up. If God can make the sea to, to pass away, and Bible said they walk on dry ground. The same can happen to you. I don't know what you are going through. Please open your mouth and pray. Say, battles like sea before my life. Dry up now. In the name of Jesus. Battles like sea before my life. Dry up, dry up, dry up, dry up, dry up, dry up. In the name of Jesus. Dry up, dry up, dry up, dry up. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say, powers assigned to stagnate me. Be wasted. In the name of Jesus, powers as I was standing, be wasted, be wasted, be wasted, be wasted, be wasted. In the name of Jesus, powers as I was standing, be wasted by fire, be wasted by fire. In the name of Jesus, every power as I was keeping on the same spot, be wasted, be wasted, be wasted, be wasted, be wasted, be wasted. In the name of Jesus, be wasted now, be wasted now. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I pray for you in the name of both every other name. Everything assigned to keep you on the same spot. Let that thing give way tonight. Let it give way tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, any obstacle before your advancement, let it scatter by fire. Let it scatter by fire. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Hallelujah. So see what happened afterwards. Amen. Verse 21 downwards. And Moses stretched out his hand over the sea and the Lord caused the sea to go back by strong east wind all that night and made the sea dry land and waters were divided I pray for you every battle in your life they shall pass away tonight oh they shall pass away tonight in the name of Jesus everything consisting sea before you tonight they shall pass away in the name of Jesus and the sea 
dry land and waters were divided. And children of Israel went into the midst of the sea upon dry ground. And the water were a wall unto, unto them on the right and on the left. And Jesus pursued and went in after them <laughs> to the midst of the sea. <laughs> Even all Pharaoh's horses, his chariot, and his horsemen. 24. And it came to pass that in the morning the Lord watched and looked and unto the host of Jesus through the pillar of fire and of the cloud and troubled the host of Jesus and took off their chariot wheels that he drave them heavily so that John said, let us flee from the face of Israel for the Lord fighteth for them against the vision. I pray for you. God will fight for you this year against your enemy. God will fight for you this year. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree and declare every enemy that has vowed that you will not let you go, they shall perish this year. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Bible said their wings was taken and they drove heavily. Every battle that wants to pursue you into the 23, they shall be displaced in the name of Jesus. They shall be wasted in the mighty name of Jesus. Okay, I pray for somebody over your life. Any will regret this year. I said they shall regret this year in the mighty name of Jesus. 26, and the Lord said to Moses, stretch out thy hand over the sea. And the waters came again upon visions, upon their chariots, upon their horsemen. And Moses stretched forth his hand over the sea. And the sea returned to his strength. Hallelujah. <laughs> the sea returned to his strength. When the morning appeared, and all just fled against it. And the Lord overthrew the visions in the midst of the sea. And the waters returned and covered the chariots and the horsemen and all the host of Pharaoh that came into the sea after them. There remained not so much even as one. I pray for somebody, if your amen can be loud, every enemy that has vowed to chase you this year, they shall perish in the mighty name of Jesus. Every stubborn enemy of your life, they shall be displaced and be wasted. They shall be displaced and be wasted. In the mighty name of Jesus, every stubborn pursuer of your glory, every stubborn pursuer of your destiny, after the order of Pharaoh, they shall be destroyed. They shall be destroyed. In the mighty name of Jesus, every stubborn pursuer of your destiny, of your marriage, of your career, they shall be destroyed. In the name of Jesus. Now, pray this prayer like this. Say, stubborn enemy of my advancement, be wasted. In the name of Jesus, stubborn enemy of my advancement, be wasted, be wasted, be wasted. In the name of Jesus, stubborn enemies of my advancement, be wasted by fire, be wasted by fire. In the name of Jesus, every stubborn enemy of my glory, stubborn enemy of my ministry, be wasted tonight, be wasted, be wasted, be wasted by fire, be wasted by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Say, stubborn pursuer of my destiny, perish in the name of Jesus. Someone pursuer of my destiny, perish, 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 perish in the mighty name of Jesus. Every soul pursuer of my destiny, I command you to perish, 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 perish in the mighty name of Jesus. Someone pursuer of my destiny, perish tonight, perish tonight, perish tonight, perish tonight in the name of Jesus, in Jesus. Mighty name, we pray. Listen, there are people, hallelujah, they are stubborn enemies. What do I call them? Stubborn enemies. They don't give up on time. And attempt to spare them, you are causing yourself more trouble. Listen, you can't pacify wickedness. Hallelujah. From time immemorial, it's been like that. You can't pacify wickedness. You can't beat them. You can't negotiate. The only thing they understand is violence. Hallelujah. And so you are going to pray that prayer again. There are people, they are bent on see. In the book of Acts of Apostles, some men, Bible says about 40 of them, gathered themselves together and they made an evil vow that until they kill Apostle Paul, they will not eat. Look at that level of wickedness. They tie themselves with a vow that until Paul dies, they will not eat anything. We are going to pray. People like that are called stubborn pursuers. I don't know who they are in your own case. They are among colleagues. Hallelujah. You seem, you can't please them. They don't see anything good in you. They are among friends. They can be your neighbor. Even sometimes, they can be your sibling. They are going to pray to God. Say, every stubborn pursuer of my destiny, perish this year in the name of Jesus. 
so don't pursue her of my destiny. Perish, 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 perish. In the name of Jesus, command her to perish. Every sudden pursuer of my glory, perish, 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 perish. In the name of Jesus, pray that way. Every sudden pursuer of my ministry, sudden pursuer of my marriage, perish, 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 perish. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Say, Oh God, arise, make a way for me. When there seems to be no way, in the name of Jesus, oh God, arise, make it for me. When there seems to be no way, in the name of Jesus, oh God, arise, make it for me. Make it for me. In my ministry, make it for me. In my career, make it for me. In my business, make it for me. In my marriage, make it for me. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise, make it for me. Make it for me. Please pray very well. In the name of Jesus, mention your own area. Oh God, arise, make it way. 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 In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise, make a way for me. Make a way for me. Make a way for me. In the name of Jesus, in my ministry, in this country, in my career, oh God, arise, make a way for me. Make a way for me. Pray very well. Somebody's praying. In the name of Jesus, make a way for me, oh God. Make a way for me, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise, make a way for me. But there seems to be no way. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I pray for you in the name above every other name. Please lift your hands to heaven if anybody are hearing from you. I pray I decree in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Masotali bakuliandaba, reposo teli barunda zikataliaba. Everybody listen to me. Where there seems to be no way, let God make a way for you. Let God make a way for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, everything called impossibility in your life. By the hand of the living God, let it become possible. Let it become possible. In the mighty name of Jesus, every case that is called written up in your life, let God turn it around. Let God turn it around. In the mighty name of Jesus, if God can pack the Red Sea and make it straight to go on dry ground, He can do the same for you. After the order of the Israelites, anything like sea before you, let it dry up tonight. Let it dry up tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, every battle. Like the Red Sea before your life. Let it dry up tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you. In the mighty name of Jesus. I want to appreciate you for taking our time to connect tonight. Amen. Praise the Lord. If it's the first time of joining us tonight, I welcome you in the mighty name of Jesus. This is World of Life Mission and Ministries International. My name is Pastor Lada Padibayo, the senior pastor of this ministry. We welcome you once again. We appreciate you. The Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Very quickly, um, please, I want to say and encourage everybody, if you've not um, subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do so tonight, please. Just take a minute to subscribe and um, click on the notification bell so that when we post any new video, you can get notification. Hallelujah. I also want to encourage you to please um, follow us on our social media platform so that you can see the messages in real time. The Lord bless you as you do so in Jesus. And I want to believe you've been blessed tonight. Praise the Lord. I also want to encourage you, please invite your friends for, for our meetings. Let them know what God is doing in this commission. And let them be a part of what God is doing so that they can also be blessed as, as we are being blessed as well. And the Lord bless you as you do so in Jesus. So please do well to build up of, of an evangelist by inviting people and also following up on them and encouraging them to, to, to be a part of um, what God is doing. I want to once again appreciate everyone and say well done to people that joined for the 14 days of our uh, annual fasting and prayer. I pray that you are re-energized, you are refreshed, and you are strengthened in Jesus' name. It's our year of great triumph. And I pray that this year, God will cause you to be triumphant in all areas. In the name of Jesus. This year, battle will not overwhelm you. In the mighty name of Jesus. This year, I decree and declare under this mandate of triumph, you will command victory perpetually. In the name of Jesus. I pray for somebody this year. You will do less, you will, you will talk less and you will do more. I say you will talk less and you will do more. In the name of Jesus. This year, your result will be your spokesman. I say your result will be your spokesman. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Once again, thank you very much for taking time to connect with us. 
in the name of Jesus. Very quickly, let's give our offering. Hallelujah. I'm going to encourage you to give your offering tonight. Don't just hear the word and sit on it. Hallelujah. Give your offering. Your offering is a worship unto God. Hallelujah. You want to give your tithe. You want to give your offering. Your tithe is 10% of your, of your income. Praise the Lord. And it's the commandment of God, not the commandment of any man. So please, if you want to give your offering and your tithe tonight, you want to give a special seed or seed faith, or you've made any vow to God, I want to redeem it. Please do so. Now, I want to believe the um, media team are projecting the um, details on the screen. So please, um, I'm going to give you about a minute or two. I'm going to give you an offering um, electronically. This is on the screen right now. Please feel free to do so um, before we bring the service to a close. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. If you're not on our platform yet and you're connecting tonight, um, please do well to drop your number in the chat box and we can add you onto the platform and we can get you know real-time information on our meetings and then any other post that comes on the platform. So it would be very nice if you please put your number in the chat box and the media team will take you from there and they will add you onto the onto the platform. Hallelujah. I want to also encourage you if you know you can be of Assistance to God's service in any way. Please feel free to come forward. Let us know what skill you've got to contribute to the work of God. And the Lord bless you as you do so in Jesus. We encourage you to please be participate and power what God is doing in this commission. And together we shall move the gospel forward in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Let's pray upon the offering before we share the grace. Father, we thank you. We appreciate you for your children. Thank you for everyone who has brought their offering and their tithes. Thank you for everyone who's brought seed faith. Or special pledge. We appreciate you for the pocket from this money has come from. That we ask that you bless and replenish it in the name of Jesus. We ask that everyone that has given, they will not know lack in the name of Jesus. It is your instruction, Lord. For those who have brought their tithe, I pray that things will not be tithes for them in the mighty name of Jesus. The remaining nine percent, they will not spend it on sickness in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord will not enter into their finances in the name of Jesus. For those who have brought their offering, I pray that. Lord, in many food, replenish them in Jesus' name. Good measure, press down, shake it to their lives. And men give unto their bosom in the name of Jesus. And for those who want to be a particular, but they don't have the power to, Lord, bless them in Jesus' name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Praise the Lord. I pray for you that as you go to this weekend, the Lord go with you in Jesus' name. May His face shine upon you in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. So I appreciate the grace and fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the earth of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. God bless you. Until I see you again, remain blessed. Shalom. <laughs>